<laughs> How'd that go? For a good first round? Uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I gotta stop racing like that. I just let everyone pass me, and then the last hundred, I somehow find a gear and just get to the front, get to the qualifying round. So, but I knew people would kind of choke up and slow down towards the end, tighten up. And I just had to make sure I was ready. I'm strong enough, I'm fit, I'm trained with Darman, you know. Really good you know, team. Uh, a lot of you know, 10K American record, low on meds, so, no, so I'm strong, ready. Um, yeah, for myself to qualify as well. Do you know that last 50 is there, or are you surprised every time it comes? Uh, no, no, I, I have an idea. I, mean, I always save some for the last 50 meters because you never know what could happen. People could tie up the last 20, a lot can happen in that last 50 meters. You know, it's a, a short distance. Is that like pretty? Is that confidence boost to go by so many guys in the world championship to get up to second there at the end? Um, yeah, it's we were slow. Um, I think we were like 58, 59 the first lap, and so I knew it was just going to come down to like this, the final six, the first six. So I, I knew I had enough in the, in the tank for a, a slow race. Um, so I was pretty confident going into the last hundred. There's been some disrespect for the American 1500 guys. I feel like. Uh, you know, just because we don't run fast, we run tactical. Do you, do you sense that? Um, yes and no. Uh, you know, this past weekend we had a bunch of Americans running pretty quick um, in California, which was awesome. And, you know, I'm kind of ready. I, we have a good, solid team uh, for the U.S. at the World Championship, so I'm excited to show you know, the world what we can do. I mean, are you ready for a fast race in the semis and finals? Because the, at the Olympics last year, the semis and finals were very quick. Yeah, I'm prepared. This race gave me confidence going into it. Um, if I could run like that, you know, in a fast race, that'd be great. And, uh, I'm feeling pretty confident going into the next two races. Yeah. Do you come into the meet with a goal? Um, yeah, I mean, the goal is always to get to the next round. Um, and then there's bigger goals that I have. And, you know, I just try to work towards those bigger goals by accomplishing the small ones first. Yeah. And what did you learn from World Indoors earlier this year, making that team, making that team? Um, It was great. But making the final was really hard. You know, top two in, in the heats was very difficult with such a... A great field. Uh, I got in on time. That was great. And then just carrying that momentum over the outdoors is, is just a, I guess, huge blessing. Walk me through the decision to go speed suit. Oh well. <laughs> so I, they asked us like what we wanted in the you know team processing, and I was like, can I try the speed suit? So I tried it on, took a picture, sent it to my wife, and she's like, you look really good. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go with the speed she suit. She has to say that. And it feels really good. There's like not loose material. Like I have a kind of a weird form, so it was just nice to be smooth and not have to worry about anything, get caught, people grab it. So. Do you have two more speed suits? I do. I have a sleeve one and a sleeve. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.